<laughs> okay, um, you're very welcome, sir, to, to, to this uh, segment. Thank and, you. And we are very glad to have you. So as we are going to start, we would like to start with getting to know who you are and uh, what you do as, yeah. as a person. I'm Ziwa Dungu Jabal. Mm. Professionally, I'm an, a businessman. Mm. I'm a teacher mm. and a performing artist. Mm. But majorly, mm. my occupations are business, mm. of course, by, by default. Mm -hmm. And then uh, performing arts, mm. majoring in film okay. by passion. Okay. Yeah, performing arts is my passion. Okay. So, yeah. so how long have you been in the film industry? I think it's more than a decade. Mm. I joined the industry in, uh, professionally. Mm. I joined in 2005. Mm. I started with uh, Trend Studios. Mm. Before that, I was trying it out, out, out on my own. Mm, mm. Because um, I've always had a passion for acting. Mm. So I was intrigued by uh, a particular character or actor. Mm. That was Uncle Mike Wauyo. And those who have been around uh, mm. for some time know Uncle Mike. Mm was one of the first actors doing professional film. So I liked the way he used to do things. Mm. So I got this dream of um, doing film, mm. acting for screen, someday. So around uh, 2000, I think, I had a camcorder. Mm. So I decided to be a producer, <laughs> doing my own thing. Mm. But of course, it was a mess. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, 2006, mm. yeah, I, I started working with Train Studios. Mm. Mm. Of course, uh, my first role was an extra role. Mm. Okay. Yeah, the rest is history. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, for uh, this, this time that you've been in the industry, because it's, it is a long time, I would like to know what you consider when it comes to like choosing a script and be like, I'm going to go with this script. I'm going to work with this director. I'm going to go with this character that they've given me. What do you consider? I'll, I'll begin with the character. Mm. When you're going for, for a casting session, mm. you first have to get to the character description. Because film mm. is real life experiences mm. Mm. and real life people. So you first have to, to check the character description and see where you fit. Now, in the beginning, it was very challenging mm. because like I told you, I joined the industry when it was uh, still very virgin. Mm, mm. So we were hungry. Yes. For me personally, I enjoy being a, a traitor mm. or an antagonist <laughs> because uh, if you can pull off, if, if, how to know that mm. you've done this yeah. because it's very challenging if the, the audience hates you mm. then you know that yeah yeah i've pulled it off mm, that's true. so when i'm choosing mm. the, the characters i want those antagonistic roles mm. yeah mm. okay i i understand that so so for this um uh, this latest project that you've you've been featured in what was that one thing that really uh, like pulled you to it and you're like i'm going to do this role i want to be in this yeah um we're talking about beneath duty yes yeah, because that is mm. my most recent project mm. Mm. i've done uh, a role as a judge before but it was a passive role mm. i also did a role uh, sometime uh, before as a lawyer, mm. but it wasn't as challenging. Now, the character of uh, this process, the, the prosecutor, mm. uh, his name is Mwanguzi Victor, it, 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 it attracted me. Mm. It was very challenging. Mm. Why? Because when you're attacking the role, you, of course, you read the script, yes. you get the story. Yeah. He is this very prominent lawyer mm. very complacent mm. because his winning cases is is, is almost natural to him mm. it's, it's 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 part of him 
And at the end of the script, this guy has been floored. Mm. But the challenging part of this role is that no one is going to read the story. Mm. They are going to watch it. Mm. If you get what I'm saying. Mm. Mm. So you have to keep this confidence and not show the audience that you're going to lose the case. Mm. That mm. one is very hard to pull mm. off. If you get what I'm saying. Yes, yes. So it gave me a very hard time mm. to garner that confidence. Mm. Well knowing that, you know, if you're aware that you're going to lose the case, <laughs> mm. uh, there is this way you, you, you show it. Mm. So I had to do rehearsals. I rarely do rehearsals for mm. film. Mm. So I went home, I, I got my mirror. Mm and <laughs> started <laughs> acting with myself. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, fortunately, or unfortunately, mm. I believe I pulled it off, but it was a very challenging character. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I think, I think that's what makes it interesting when you try out something new that you're not really used to doing yeah. and it has a lot of challenges and you know okay i have to do this but i don't know how i'm going to do it but i have to do it yeah so i say i think i think it was a great experience for you to indeed yeah indeed. so what i'm what i want to know is can right now can you be like i'm confident i'm victor i am victor even i mean just wake me up and be like i want victor give me victor can you do that um, or you still have to like okay i don't know maybe yes mm. but of course a different writer mm. would want a different victor. Yes, true. If you get what I'm saying. Yes. But um, I think Beneath Beauty gave me a milestone mm, mm. doing such a character mm. because I don't think I'll be challenged again. Mm. Because when I was given that script, mm. I thought it would be a walkover. Mm. I've done a royal <laughs> role before. Yeah. So I thought I would just go, get on set and mm. do my thing. Mm, mm. Now, so, being a prosecutor mm, is different mm, from uh, being any other lawyer. Mm, because a prosecutor's role is to make sure that you're convicted. Mm, mm, yeah. So there is no pleading, you attack. Mm, and I hadn't done a prosecution role before. Okay. So I think I'm confident. Mm, that's I can good. prosecute any time. <laughs> okay, that's good. Yeah. So, so I would want to know, what's the difference between... Um, this project, Beneath Beauty, and all those other projects that you've been in, like, what's that one thing that you're like, this is different? Like, Beneath Beauty, there's something about Beneath Beauty that I've not experienced before, that I've just experienced now. What should I say? Beneath Beauty. Mm. Beneath Beauty, I'll begin with uh, what is similar. Mm. Mm. What was similar about the project was that... Um, I was working with the cast and crew mm. I've worked with before. Mm. But the story, mm. the story was totally different. Mm. Uh, this particular project, mm. I was working with a director I haven't worked with as a director before. Mm. But I've worked with uh, for some time. Mm. And uh, it was the same person who had mm. written the story. Mm. Mm. So I was interested and curious to know the kind of story it would give me. Mm. So I accepted the script mm. before I even knew what it was all about. <laughs> it was mm. all about. Mm. And then I got to the story. The story was, was uh, mind-boggling mm. because the character was given uh, required a different kind of delivery. Mm. Like uh, I've told you before, I haven't done a prosecution role uh, before. Mm. Mm. So I did some uh, little research on prosecutors. But the kind of prosecutor mm. that was required to be this time around mm. was again a different one. Mm. The characters were all uh, delivering mm. in a very different way. It wasn't this um, everyday, everyday court scenario mm. to get to. Mm. Mm. And then uh, the story outside the court mm. is also very interesting. Mm. Actually, I, I was about to ask uh, the, the, the director to give me another role. <laughs> Why? Because the, the, the story is very mm. rich. Mm. So mm. I had to be part of the story. Mm. 
because every every character mm. is is has equal weight we are all good. they are almost all leading mm. characters mm. so i liked the story because mm. um, what it talks about is ordinary mm. but the kind of delivery yeah the delivery is mm. much more different mm. from what would be expected mm. and i believe anyone watching a beneath beauty is going to need at a second take mm, mm. yeah the story is int- interesting it's mm. captivating but i believe that every other time mm. one is going to watch it they'll they'll get to like it more mm. and more mm. okay so so um previously i had a conversation with the director of uh, beneath beauty and to Mayani andrew yes and he told me that on the crew he yeah. had almost 80% of the crew members were women yeah and less men so what i want to ask is what was your experience having to work with women on a yeah. set more than men because i believe oftentimes usually you see men more yeah in the crew doing all these things than Truth women thing. yeah mm. um actually um i believed it would be a very hard experience mm. but what i learned mm. because like i told you i'm a professional business mm. man uh women deliver better <laughs> but with film when mm. you're dealing with actors yeah actors we are not an easy <laughs> we are not uh, yeah. an easy biscuit mm. to chew mm. so i thought we would uh, have a very hard time on set mm. considering that Uh, the cast was predominantly not not female mm, mm. which was I, i think which was an advantage mm. because um, women handle women a different way <laughs> so um i thought i would have a hard time mm. with the uh, female uh, crew mm. but i don't know uh i don't know how the director handled the, the, the cast and crew hmm. or, or maybe it's uh, thanks to the the the, the, the assistant director mm. yes and this time around the assistant director was was female <laughs> uh in a, an assistant director role mm, mm. so i think uh, much thanks should go to the director mm. you must have prepared mm ampli mm, um, mm. because we didn't have ample time for for preparation by mm, the way mm. because um we had a uh, hard time collecting people on set mm. i mean uh, creating a cast and crew considering that most of the people we worked with uh, were busy but um it wasn't hard sp- it wasn't a hard experience working with the predominantly female crew Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's that that's really great to hear. So, um Mr. Jabal, no. for you as part of the cast of Beneath Beauty. What do you think us the viewers should expect from Beneath Beauty? This is a mind-boggling story. Mm. But they should be prepared to watch this story more than once mm, mm. because it will be very interesting the mm. very first take. Mm but they'll need to 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 watch it more and more and more mm. why because um it was written by a professional writer mm. very professional by mm. the way mm. it has very strong characters mm. it has very strong situations the story itself is rich mm. and uh, each part each minute that goes by mm. the story you, you you're waiting to see what comes next. So I don't think anyone can watch this story mm. once mm. and be sat- satisfied with mm. it. Mm. So I'm 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 I'm, I'm warning the audience <laughs> that um, even the brightest among mm. them mm. will not understand the story the very first time. Mm. But they'll find it very interesting even at the very first watch. Okay. Yeah. Well, we are going to be looking forward to watching Please do. to watching the movie. <laughs> But uh thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you. 
and uh, we hope we shall be having more of these conversations with time. Of course. Thank you. Of course. <laughs>